Uh, what else? Oh, Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch is something that I will definitely maybe check out. I can't even say definitely now that I think about it. I've had uh, a early beta code to it that no longer works. And a lot of people have tried to get me codes that just don't work. And I mean, I wasn't really interested in it, but a lot of people want me to stream it. So I might. Maybe. We'll see what happens. So this is Chrono Cross. And last time on Chrono Cross, we entered a painting. And if you didn't watch the stream last time, then you're probably very confused. Tomorrow's open beta. Well then, if it goes into open beta, I'll check it out. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'm a cat now. And I have a troll with me. And it's just a blurry mess of pixels, I would assume. You're seeing the Who live tomorrow? I haven't seen the Who live, no. Not exactly my highest list of live priorities. 2016 The Who. Maybe if you gave me 1975 The Who, I'd be alright with it. Oh boy, here we go. You are très late, non? Come on, Monsieur Lynx, let's go! We don't have the time to be dawdling here. We may truly get lost in time. I can't afford to lose you just yet. Does she know? I'm not Lynx. You are no longer Serge. You are Monsieur Lynx. Alon I don't know how to pronounce that. Just <laughs> look at yourself. Who in their right mind is going to believe you are Serge? It's as simple. If everybody except for yourself says that you are Monsieur Lynx, then <laughs> it's a lot of Z's. Voila, you are Monsieur Lynx. It's as simple as that. That is who you are. C'est la reality. If you try and go against reality, reality will surely crush you. Reality will kill you. And reality will continue to go on as if nothing ever happened. <laughs> from yesterday to today, and from today to tomorrow, reality marches on, leaving your crushed body behind. I'm Lynx. Bravo, say exact. You are Monsieur Lynx. Regarding your memory as this surge, you may be able to rewrite it if you use the dragon tear. And yeah, just walking up and down walls. In reality, you died 10 years ago in the other world. <laughs> How could you say for sure this is the real you? This fucking character. Maybe for you it is evident, but uh, I wonder if you ever really were Serge. Furthermore, what was this surge? A figure, a shape, a spirit, a soul? Where was this surge? I don't, I don't know. Who, who am I? Who are you? You're not me. I'm not you. I am reality. You are. Not, not as cut and dry as Chrono Trigger. Pretty obviously. I did this voice. Nay, open the door to reality only. I'm mistaken, you'll never make it back to the real world. I don't know. Memory. Complete garbage.
Oh, boring. Fine, I understand how you feel. Let's head back to reality. Harl joined your party. So. Oh god, I forgot about this. Yeah, this is just a whole section with this music. Um, well. Enigmatic Jester, 18. Origin, unknown, unknown, unknown. What do you mean height is unknown? We could probably, like, measure. But yeah, there, there's the, uh... Harl is now a party member. And we're in some wonderful... Mindfuck... MC Escher... <laughs> scenery here. I'd say age is a lot harder to guess than height and weight. Like, considering she's all, like, fully in makeup. Uh... Feral cats. That's Midna. We're gonna call Midna's people. Wait, what if Lynx is actually from the Twilight Realm? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Sprig can become... Basically, any enemy that is a... Well, not any enemy, but a lot of enemies are available to transform into. It's a slow process, and therefore not one I would use very much, but... They, they come complete with their own skills, and... Lagunate is really powerful, yeah. I mean, look at that. Look at that fucking damage. Did you see? <laughs> Jesus. Also, it's like a frog machamp. It, it's basically... It's basically a Pokemon. It's n gut nun tortoise. Tor 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 tortoise. Gonna do an auto allocate for the party. And, uh. Get some of this stuff on. Dancing shoes. Put on your dancing shoes. Talking today about how David Bowie is like just a dick ghost. Joe and I were discussing this as a, as a joke, and, uh, the idea being, like, David Bowie, you know, his spirit wanders from recording studio to recording studio, and he just makes shit go wrong. Because we, we, we were joking about how he, uh, Coldplay wrote a song, they were like, hey, you want to be on this song? He was like, it's not a very good song, is it? He didn't really say it like that, but that's how Chris Martin tells the story. And, uh, we were- we were joking about, like, how he- Like, he'll just do that, like, he'll whisper in the guy's ear, you this isn't a good song. Maybe it's time to... Throw in the towel. Try something different. Guess we'll just do... Helmets. Oh, I'm sorry, did your microphone cut out? My microphone kept, like, every time I went to go sing, it would lower, like, five inches, and it happened, like, six times in a row. <laughs> and I was just like, that's, yep, that's David Bowie. He's like, stop singing the song, you suck. It's terrible. We had this, like, discussion about the afterlife. What would you do? If you were the atypical ghost, and your whole existence in the afterlife was 
Like you can just basically linger on Earth and all the ghost shit. You can be invisible, you can haunt once you get enough XP. You can, um, you know, make spooky noises. Where, where would you go? What, what would you do? I want to get that treasure chest. Fuck. First answer I see. Masturbate. And right before that, actually, that I didn't see was I'd fly around. Good job. Two good answers. Sneak into locker rooms. But who's to say your sex drive would even be a thing when you're a ghost? Maybe being a ghost takes away any and all desire for Nookie. Maybe being a ghost means that you just, you know, you're... You just play pranks on people. I would fart around my friends. G good answer. That's good. Space ghost. I'd open a prank channel on YouTube. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Vine Dead Forty Five Forty Five. Um, today we're gonna, we're gonna do a prank, bro. I'm gonna get away with it, cause, you know, I'm a ghost and they can't see me. Um, this one's gone sexual. Ghost pranks gone sexual. Alright, check it out, enjoy. Someone said I'd haunt video games. How great would it be? To, like fuck with someone who's played, like, say, for me, for example, I'm playing this game, you know, I know it pretty well. And it's like... Like the Ben Drown thing. But way worse. Like, what if the Legend of Sen was actually, in any way, shape, or form, scary and real? That would be a cool- that would be a cool ghost. But, I mean, your specialty then, like, you're settling for basically just fucking with Twitch streamers. I'd rub my butt on everyone I saw. That's a good- Good answer, Konome. I would expect no less. We are back to reality. Does this place look familiar to you, Monsieur Lynx? Do you need more to tell you where we are? No, I already know. Ah, you remember. Then let's leave this. Uh, forest marshes at once. Ah, yes, I'm finally back in the real world. There's some accent here. A world with, with, uh, a world with uh, substance. <laughs> it's not the voice I use. Like, a ah, world with substance. Even the water is, and air is different. This is great. It's just Shrek. Fuck. I didn't really necessarily plan for that, but it, I guess we're stuck with it. It's time to go party! Let's have a toast to our return to the real world. Listen, old lady, you are not getting any younger. Try to control your emotions. And there is absolute amount no time to be partying. We must hurry along. Well, what's your problem, lass? It's been years since I've been back here in the real world. I'll just do this. Sure are a buzzkill! Anyway, where are now? Um, is your Lynx? You seem to be worried about that Surge character. Did you still remember? The place where it all started. Where the angels lose their way. Angels? Oh, whatever, it has a bad ring to it. So what exactly is it? A gate to another world. Something like that. I thought I did, like, a Scottish thing. What? Are you saying there's another dimensional distortion in this world? Ha! 
Very interesting indeed. Oh, where is this place? Leaves that up to Mr. Lynx. Let's just get going, but first we must leave this forest. That's a lot of repeated exposition. Oh, it disappeared. What's going on? All right, goodbye, distortion. We can never go back to Vengo world. Yeah, that the voice is definitely someone had said it's in a constant state of evolution. In other words, it's just me forgetting how I did it last time. I think I'm close to it now. What? That's the key to it. If you just say what, then the rest kind of just flows naturally. Humans, what do you monsters want from us? Excuse them, Wakiza. Eh? What kind of attitude is that? I will kick your derriere to the moon if you talk to me more links. Come on, ka. Come on, sa. Come sa. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Freak. I needed a laugh today. That's good. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what are you? What do you want? What? No way. You're Sergi? You? Ah, give me a break. Our Sergi is human. Read my lips. H-U-M-A-N. He's not a demi-human like you. You're full of it. Well, what's how you do, Mr. Lynx? Nobody in your village believes that you are Serge. Of course we don't believe you. Everyone in this village knows Sergi. We're not gonna be fooled by a bunch of demi-humans like you. I don't know what your jokers are up to, but our village... Just get the hell out of our village. Yeah, they don't like demi-humans. Wow, awesome. You're for real, right? Are you a human cat or a cat human? Do you like catnip? Asking the real questions. Of course I like catnip. I thought so. Guess you are what you eat. Grandma also told me also told me how you look on the outside as a reflection of what's in your heart. Right, so in my heart. I, I guess, meow. There's demi humans taking their jabs. Yeah, they were okay with a skeleton before. I didn't realize that they were okay with a skeleton and a talking dog, but as soon as you put a cat on two legs, holy shit! Everyone loses their minds. Oh, they, they didn't actually show me the portal. I had to just use the amulet. What's wrong, Lynx? Don't tell me the dimensional gate won't open. Ah, you be in hot water now. Of course it won't open. The missing piece to this world has been found. There is nothing we can do. You are just an unwanted piece. Very interesting. What are you going to do, Lynx? How about we go explore and your, explain your situation to your mover? We may be able to find something out. Mover. Oh, mother. 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 How could Surge... Right, you know what? Let's find out. I don't really know how Serge's mom could help, but we're going to find out. Who might you be? How may I help? What? Did you just say you're Serge? Please explain to me exactly what's going on here. I see. So that man told you to go to the Sea of Eden. Must have been a really long time. A lot of explaining. I really don't know about dimensional distortions or about the other world. But if, like you say, something big is really on the verge of happening, it may have all started 14 years ago on the night of the storm. 
Oh, this is how she can help. That night, your father, Wazuki, and his friend Miguel set out to sea. Despite a storm, it was an emergency. They were swallowed by the high waves and lost consciousness. When they came to, they found themselves inside the Dead Sea. A place where no living creature dares enter. I don't know what happened, or I don't know what he saw, but that incident changed your father. Your father's friend, Miguel, that was Lena's father. He never returned. Back then, that place wasn't called the Dead Sea. Yes, I believe they called it the Sea of Eden. That was 14 years ago. Are you the ones everyone's talking about? Oh. Radius. Radius! No, this can't be. Are you... Lynx? You're still alive! Step outside, Lynx. For I, too, was once a ma valiant member of the Acacia Dragoons. I, I must put a stop to you. Ah, la, la. Giza, I wouldn't show off like that. That is, if you want to live. Do not underestimate the power of Monsieur Lynx. One blow, and it's off to the other world with you. Silence. Now, oh, step outside. No. Oh, well, we stepped outside. I was about to say, give me a chance. I, I want to step outside. Sprig has this, um, only three, uh, slots for stuff, and one of which is doppelgang, but I mean, again, it's it's a good ability because the Lagoonite does so much damage. It just takes a little while, but yeah, Sprig is definitely a wild card character. For example. Look, the Lacoon. Just, just look at this damage. 89%. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on! Oh, that sucked. Gun cane. Stick it right in his butt. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's that's good damage. Harl has some of her own specials. It mostly involves the moon. I stand defeated. Words, not birds. All of that could have been solved if Lynx and Harl and Sprig just explained the situation very quickly to Radius. But he just wanted to fight. I don't know any. So listen to this. This is a great line. I do not sense any malice in your attacks. I just beat the shit out of an old man with all of my skills. And he said, "No malice." 
Do you really mean to tell me that you are not Lynx? Is it true that the General is still active in the other world? Oh, dear, the General has been missing for the past three years now. Uh, understood. I shall accompany you. We may still have a chance to save the General and Riddell in the other world. Zut. <laughs> Whatever that means. This Giza is only going to get in the way. I'm just gonna keep my current party. We must gather news in Termina about the general about General Viper's disappearance. We may find clues to show us how to return to the other world. I, Radius, shall give it my all in the name of the General Viper. I don't know why I keep adding the. Um, I did mention the Radiohead song. Briefly. Zut equals darn, dang, damn, got it. Thanks. Um, I mentioned it, it it's, I like it. I like it a, a lot, actually. I think it's, it's an interesting direction for them. Kind of reminds me of a dark, like, occult Eleanor Rigby. And, uh, it's, it's a good mix of pretty and de darkly, depressingly doomy Radiohead, which, um, they did a lot on Kid A. So, yeah, it's good. I'm excited for the new album, which is gonna be called My Bum, Your Bum, We All Bum. For Bum Bum. Confirmed. Could you imagine a band like Radiohead naming one of their albums something like, because, I mean, at this point, you wouldn't expect them to really break the mold of, of whatever serious album titles they've been going with. And then they just name it, like, Anal Bum Cover. It's deep. Kid B. Y yo, check out that guy's face. Way scary. Our investigation is done. Let's get the hell out of here. I want to go back to poor. <laughs> the Fungus Among Us. Th that'll be the name of the next Radiohead album. And it's just about mushrooms. The whole album is just about mushrooms. It's a sequel to their King of Limbs album, which was all about trees. Vinny, have you ever uh, listened to the band Butthole Surfers before? Yes, I have. Slightly. I love the name. I think they're, from what I've heard, they're a pretty good band. Um... What was it called? Diarrhea Planet? It's a band? You're joking. Th there's a band called Diarrhea Planet. So, I can get the rainbow shell in Arnie. I can get that right now. Fungus Among Us was an Incubus album. Oh, no shit. So where do I go for this?
quite scary looking. Please go away. Thanks. Uh, everyone here loves me. Blacksmith lady. Parts to you hail from. Doesn't matter much to me. Customers are my business. This is a blacksmith lady. Just upgraded my weapon. Link's found a new frame. It looks like you found it. I'll go ahead and take it. It's on me. Shellfish frame. Do you think it's so shellfish of me that I stole that frame? Um, that is not the rainbow, though. It's in a different- okay, it's in an, in the parallel dimension, Morty. Yep. Yeah, I think so. I think the Chrono Cross streams aren't necessarily the type of stream that I think will bring in a huge audience, but I'm I'm happy to do them. They're they're actually my some of my favorites. I, I like a good chill stream every now and then. Also, considering today was one of those days where you know you sometimes you just need to just relax, chill, just play a game that you really like, not go overboard. Obviously you're all streamers, you know the feeling. <laughs> But, no, seriously, it's- it, this is perfect. I'm gonna fight that Toto. Also, so many of these frames are just disgusting. It's totally unusable. much HP this dodo has, but I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna do it. Snob Goblin. No, I'm gonna do the Lagoonate. Did the Overwatch beta go open already? Because I, I actually did try it, and it said that you have to purchase the game or whatever. Or is that going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern. Squark. It's squarking so hard, but just got punched by a swole man frog uh, thing. Today for pre orders. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't really research Overwatch. I just heard a lot about it. And then I, I saw some gameplay and I saw Ryan on Cinemassacre. I saw him stream it a little bit. And yeah, it looks cool. And it's something that I think I might enjoy. But, apparently, I, I got into the closed beta, but was only told that I got into the closed beta the day after it ended. So... I would have streamed it if it was a little bit earlier. 
it's a good way to get a game, you know, after it closes. I think we can get Fungi now. Before I do story stuff, I'm gonna go into the forest and try to get Fungi. No, I, I wasn't interested in Overwatch because I didn't know what it, really what it was or why it was popular. And then I saw a little bit of it. And I was like, okay, this, this looks pretty cool. But yeah, at first I wasn't. like these are really weird looking monsters it, it kind of reminds me of an amphibian but also a Pikachu Cuscus or Couscous is the name of it but also an owl and also like a, a ferret it's- it's like a weird combination of so many different animals. It's so strange. Looks like an Abra. What do you mean, the Pokémon Abra? A little bit. Oh, oh, Lemur! Yeah, that's the one. It's a fucking monkey fish frog. something I just love about the monster designs in old square RPGs. After Termina? Wait, you mean there's no fungi yet? Or. You're required to go here after Termina, so you know what? We'll just go do that. So Termina, if I remember correctly, is a little different in this other world. Lynx, how dare you have the nerve to return to this town. Get out of here! It looks like you're an unwanted guest here too! That's the wrong voice again. Humans are very selfish, no? To think that they used to bow their heads down to curry favor with Monsieur Lynx. They're always searching for something or someone to lay their blame on. I, I can't believe Spriggy, just, I can't get the voice. I'm on patrol duty, don't bother me. Vinny, can you help me study for my biology final? Alright, what do you need to learn about? I'll help you study. Person. But what specifically? I'll, I'll tell you all about it. Uh, 
Chronic the Hemp Dog. Even though I'm here relaxing, I can't shake away this mystery from my mind. We you listen to my story? It happened about three years ago. General Viper and his men disappeared from the manor. Mitosis. Okay, I'll tell you about that in a minute. We searched the manor for them, but found no traces. I can only guess that they were spirited away. What in the world could have happened to them? To think that the same thing could happen to me someday, I, I just can't help being afraid even when I'm trying not to think about it. Mitosis is the splitting of cells. Alright, Cock Norris. That's all I read. That Norris is cocky. He's still young, but he doesn't hesitate to voice his opinion without any flattery. Never loosens up and doesn't seem interested in having any kind of fun. Now he's the best of the Terminator division. Ugh. So lead, isn't he? That. Yeah, so this is- this is mitosis to the, the best of my ability and memory. Mitosis is when two cells love each other very much, and they split. Alright, but when one sp when they split, they, um, they- they eventually turn into, uh, four cells, and then four turns into a multicellular organism. And then, um, they- the mommy and daddy cells get very sad because they split. But it's just a part of life, son, and you shouldn't grow up resenting your parents, nor was it your fault. Is that mitosis? Congratulations. You'll get an F on your f biology final. The dragon's glory is a head above the rest. It seeps down deep, just as it's rumored to be. And this rare dried lizard dish is great, too. Of course, you can't forget the local specialty. Squid gut pasta, either. And that's how I get fatter with each one. I like dried lizards and squid gut pasta. It's been quite some time since I've been around here, but... It's nice and peaceful compared to the mainland. Not like I had anything fun to do back home, either. Maybe I should just stay here forever. You. Aren't you the guy in Sir Viper's Manor? Get yourself out of here! Our beautiful, beautiful Termin has been turned into a mess because of you. We don't serve your kind here. Welcome. There's a lyric in a Mars Volta song. She was a mink hand jobbing sarcophagus with heels. Just wanted to let you know. Thank you. Are you looking for my father? I'm very sorry, but he's out in the forest gathering mushrooms. I even told him that we're doing inventory tomorrow. I wonder when he'll be coming back. That mushroom hobby of his drives me crazy. One day, he's gonna turn himself into a mushroom. Hmm. Oh, that mushroom man. Yeah, I mean, there's a fucking cannon here. This is the poor army's state-of-the-art weaponry. As long as we have this, the citizens- the citizens of Termina wouldn't dare revolt against us. So, I mean, they're pretty much holding this place by force. It's a very different Termina, indeed. My poor Skelly, I pray that- pray that you're safe. I mean, unfortunately, not a whole lot has changed. Poor Skelly is also missing in this world. Grandma's still heartbroken. Such a pity. 
Statue of Master Viper that I've polished every day has been changed to this. The once magnificent manor is also long gone. If only Mr. Viper were here, none of this would have happened. If, if it isn't Sir Lynx, it's a great relief that you, you're safe! So General Viper kept this place safe against the poor army, more or less, over the years. And in this world, General Viper died three years ago. S sir Lynx, you're alive, sir. There's nothing in this old shack, but, but, but what, would you like some tea or, or something? Get out, you big straight cat! I don't like you! And now there, stop that! Father's the one who's always saying it. This guy never came here. We wouldn't be in this mess. No, no, Sir Lynx. <laughs> well, you see, it's just kids, kids talk. There's a stray cat that steals our fish around here, so... <laughs> it's really just a nuisance. Come on now, you apologize too. We're really sorry. Lynx is an asshole. Was. Now, now I am Lynx. So, yes, Lynx is an asshole. Can it be you, Sir Lynx? You're safe, sir? W where have you been all this time? I've set up a temporary military dock beyond this point. Nobody may pass without permission from Commander Norris. Not even you, Sir Lynx. Commander Norris is at the ruins of Viper Manor. Please report your current status to him immediately. All this life that used to be here is now just military. We will open fire on any suspicious ship, ship if they do not respond to our call. When you travel by ship, I advise you to be careful. Inform me immediately if you find anything. All the life it's sucked out of this place. Vine sauce on Bandcamp is it the real versions of the songs or short versions, huh? They're all it's the the real those are the real songs. Scoot the Burbs is only one minute. Aye, that should do it. Ah, this here forge has always had a fire. Since olden times, tis sad to see it without its blaze. My apologies, closing this shop from your, my own selfish desires. I've had to listen to you for the longest time and I didn't know, I didn't want to hear you say it's foolish now. Never mind that, dear. So you're, you're really going? Aye. Now that I didn't have the shop no more, like say, it's time to finish what we started long ago. You stay here and wait for Karsh's return. It's already been three years. These years haven't been too good to us. Our best patrons, the dragoons disappear and the poor military gets up our asses. Oh, since we've had such bad luck till now, I'm sure, th I'm sure things will be good here on out. Our son's probably fine as well. I can't- I'm losing it. I can't do anything- anything even related to my fake shitty Scottish tonight. I... I'm guessing you're f not from around here. Do you can- a thing called the rainbow. It's a superb material that can be forged into anything. I'm thinking of searching for this rainbow. You wouldn't mind if I joined you, eh? Great! And I'll give you a wee token. Use this any time. I'll find you. Do my job. Anywhere you are. I give my word! Just, just like that. Doesn't know who I am. <laughs> just joins the party. Why not? Call me anytime you like. You're all travelers, aren't you? Have you seen our son anywhere? His name is Karsh. He's a pretty rough character, but he's a good boy. It's tough having a son who's a knight. You never know when he might just come back as a ghost in armor. 
I wonder what could have happened to him at like Dead Sea. <sighs> if I could see my son again, I didn't ask for anything else. I'm sorry to make you feel blue. Well, if you ever, if you ever find him, just tell him to come back for a little while. He was one of the dragoons that went off with Viper, that went missing in the Dead Sea. Can't bear watching him. Master Zappa just hasn't been the same himself since his son Karsh disappeared. He doesn't concentrate on his work and often stares out the window. Gosh. He's not some kind of love-struck youth or something. He's just not behaving normally. I'm not gonna become a blacksmith here, so I'm gonna switch over to being a traitor. You know anything? Night Glen, I hear, is an extremely hot-tempered and hard-headed guy. My, my. That's why prehistoric soldiers like knights are such a nuisance. This Dario person seems to have been an exceptionally dignified man. If he's still alive, we should enlist him into the Black Wind. From what I've heard, this shack is where Dario and his brother, Glen, live. Some people claim to have seen him, so we're currently looking for this Dario, but... Just when we thought the Acacia Dragoons were gone, this troublemaker decides to come back. If you find any information about him, let us know. Yes, Dario Naharis. And I did do a Game of Thrones recap for Episode 2. I, I will post it. Someplace, sometime. This kid wants to make boats. Because he gets sick on boats. Of all the boats I've seen, the boat at the docks is the best and fastest of them all. I wish I could build one like it. How south? Yeah, how far south am I willing to go down for a con? Um, not very. Not really into more than three cons a year, and they're all pretty close. So, sorry. Phew. You know, Van's friends head over. And he's, he's over in the back room. Remember this place was rich? It was a mansion. Oh, whoops. There's another room in here? Oh, that's not the exit. At least knock before you enter. Are you guys tourists? If you want, I'd be willing to guide you around. Of course, there's a small fee involved. I think it's a bargain. How about it? You got it! That is... Huh? You've had long enough to pay your debts. I'm not going to wait any longer. Either you pay up now, or I'll have you move out of this house. But what will happen to my son and me? That's none of my concern. I just want to make this place into my personal storage for my precious treasures. Hey, hey wait, I I'll pay that debt. Well, this is amusing. How is our little Mr. Van today? How much have you saved from your allowance? None of your business. This is what I got. <laughs> this won't even pay off the interest. Better luck next time. Just wait a little bit more, then I'll be able to get you the money you need. What are you planning to do, little Van? Don't waste your energy on something stupid. Going with these guys to search for the frozen flame. So please, just wait a little longer. <laughs> just listen to yourself. You're pretty bright, but you're still just a kid. It's so naive of you to believe that in a fairy tale like the frozen flame. Of course it's a joke, isn't it? No, we're serious. I'm a cat. You can, you can trust me. Amazing. You actually believe that legend? Are you people crazy or something? <sighs> Not a bad joke, though. Frozen Flame is supposed to be the treasure of all treasures, even if it is just a legend. There's something very tempting about it. All right, I'll wait a little longer. Have the Frozen Flame ready by the time I come back here. Be careful not to burn yourself. Although you'll probably never find it. Hmm. How arrogant of her to just push us around just because we're poor. 
only we had money. If only we had money, this never would have happened. Hey, hey, Van, none of that. Besides, even though we don't have money... I don't want to hear that from you, Dad. Where are we going to live as of tomorrow? We're out of money because we're not selling any of the paintings we have in this room. I'm sorry, Van. These pictures are just not good enough to sell yet. I only want to sell pieces that I'm satisfied with to those who understand my work. Fine. They're going to have to be the one who finds a place, us a place to live. Do you enjoy watching family disputes? There's absolutely positively nothing here, so there's no point hanging around. Thanks. Thank you for going along with my bogus story. Hmm. I think it's a pretty good picture, so why doesn't it sell? Dad isn't too active about selling his work. He says cocky things like he'll only sell to those who understand his work. Oh well, I guess I'll have to come up with the money myself. Okay, let's see. My piggy bank is... Yep, it's here. Okay, the money's in here too. Now the hardest part is finding a place to live. Next we have... Dad's homemade paint color, El Nido Blue. Painting the sea in this color gives it the smell of salt water, supposedly. If I were dad, I would have sold this paint by itself and made a fortune off of it. Which I think is what happened in the other world, actually. The seashell. Mom, the only reminder I have left is this shell. Now oh, it's cracked. I can't even hear the sound of the sea, but I remember it all. Mom found this shell and held it gently to my ear, and I remember that sound, the sound of the sea. I also had a fit because I couldn't take the sand castle. I made. Who is he talking to? The cat? And now we have to move out of the house Mom and I lived in. But don't worry, Mom. I'll take good care of Dad for you. Then again, my character is a walking, talking cat. Van always had a hard time dealing with our troubles. Ever since he was a child, I made him do without so many things that he's grown a bit sarcastic. And he's very kind at heart, like his mother always was. One day I wish I could just let him do as he pleases, just like other children. You guys are still here? You need something? Are you here to buy my dad's paintings? Actually... What you were just saying... We really are looking for the frozen flame. H huh? If you're being sarcastic, you got me pretty ticked. Oh, I get it. You're trying to cheer me up or something. Don't, under don't underestimate me because I'm a kid. You know that no such thing exists in this world. Or are you, are you all some kind of simpletons? Whether you believe it or not, it's up to you. Stop looking at me like that. You remind me of my mom. Your eyes tell me that you're telling the truth, even I can see that. But I just can't do it. I can't just leave my dad here and go off on some fool's errand, although it's tempting. I'll be alright, Van. You don't have to find the frozen flame or anything. I just want you to go out into the world and broaden your horizons. Of all the people in this world, only a handful live in happiness. Oh, maybe even those who live look happy aren't really happy at all. I want you to go find out for yourself what real happiness means. So, go. Ah, Dad. Then, just be careful to lock up at night. It'll be bad if any of the paintings were stolen. I will be careful out there. Oh yes, just wait a moment. Take this with you. This is a boomerang? Dad, I'm not going out there to play. What, what, what am I gonna do with this toy? This isn't a toy. During your journey, there will be danger. It should help you when it comes, when the time comes. And a boomerang comes back when it's thrown. I want it to be a reminder to you. <laughs> so it's a good luck charm, huh? Hmm, I don't care for such things. But, oh well, I'll take it with me just in case. 
so much development on this character. All right, we got to go before she comes back again. There's more development for Van than there are for most of the main characters. Like, you even find out the origin of his weapon. So, Go can't sell any of his paintings, which... It just seems like lots of blue. This, this one's just a lot of, like, green and orange. Anyway, in the other dimension, they're rich. And... Go... Is... Very plump. He's always on business trips, always making more money. And Van kind of disowns him. He's not a fan of his father. And, uh, I mean, it's an interesting little story, the, the two of them. And it shows you, like, kind of how the choices you make could really affect your entire life. And what, sometimes what you think is the best isn't really the best, which is mirrored by that line. Even the people that look happy, sometimes they are not happy. And, uh, yeah, I mean, even with all the money in the world, they're still not totally happy. But, but here's the thing. What if they weren't totally rich, but they weren't totally poor? Maybe the key is to make it, and then just to have a little bit of money. Or enough to pay your goddamn bills. Brings you here. You shouldn't come around here on a whim. The spirits here will wake if you disturb them. Living beings are too radiant for the spirits. Just last night, a man's spirit appeared at my bedside. He said his name was Getz or something. Probably another lost soul still attached to this world. Very common around here. In any case, it's nothing concerning you. Now run along and go home. I do like what this game, I mean, some of the, the broader strokes of the game can uh, be a little disappointing for some people. Like, when I say broader strokes, I mean like the overarching story and some of the main characters and the main story. But then there's this element of, um, you know, some of the smaller characters and, and the choices you make that affect your future as illustrated in different dimensions. It's pretty good. Sir Norris has arrived. Please come in. So Viper Manor is like totally fucked up. I believe it has been four years since I retired from the Dragoons. Time sure does fly. I was shocked to hear of Dario's death three years ago, and now the general and the others are missing. The manor's in shambles. I took the liberty of conducting my own investigation, but I have discovered nothing. All I know is that a man named Lynx approached the general and involved him in some kind of incident. The only difference with the other world you talk about is that something has happened to the general three years ago. I just hope that this Norris fellow knows something. I know nothing. I was not involved with the plan. I did not find it amusing. We still don't really even know who Harl is. Come to think of it, we don't really know a whole lot about any of the characters I currently have in my party. Like, we know a little bit about the, the blacksmith guy, because we've seen him in two worlds. Seems like a hard-working, regular dude. What is up with this El Nido place? Yeah, indeed. Compared to, you know, the other land, where there's a, a wizard. 
named Magus, who raised a skeleton army. I mean... I think... Uh, a dragon is still probably not as weird as a skeleton. It's unstable here. Please enter through the well on your right to reach the basement. Oh. Yeah, Harl has a little bit of development, but at this point in the story, we don't know anything about her. And the other characters are also... Some characters you just don't know anything about, really, just a little bit. Which, I don't mind too much, because you kind of apply your own stories to them. Hang on, before we talk to Sir Norris. Pause inside here, but a monster's blocking the way. I can't get him out. A paw wraith. you know what a paw wraith is, it's in relation to, uh, Deep Space Nine. Foo, you saved me. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. I found it inside the cave. Mushroom. Yeah, mushroom. Wasn't crazy about the way DS9 ended. Fungi. Waterfall. All right, I'm gonna go get him real quick. What's DS9? According to PK Salsa in chat, Dick Suckers 9, which I believe is a film he's seen a few times. A good film. Quality film. No, it's actually Deep Throat Nine. Dark Souls Nine. Star Trek. Dark Souls Nine. Uh, hello. Hey, let me see that mushroom. Oh, this is a rare mushroom, only found in Guardia, or so it seems. Anyway, what do you say we make a deal? Your mushroom for my treasure. Okay. This better be good. Oh, this rich fragrance. Chomp, chomp. Mm, the way it melts in your mouth, yet... Oh, the firm texture brings out the flavor. <laughs> Delicious! Man, that was good! 
What? Do I have something on my face? <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, a chew! Huh? No! A mushroom monster! How could you do this to me? It's all your fault! Uh, sorry. I oh, know! Why don't you join us? Frozen Flame should be able to change you back to normal. Fine, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll stalk you through the depths of hell. Ah, 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 was an early vine sauce mascot of sorts. Here's, uh, yeah, here's the picture. The, the famous me as fun guy picture. When I say famous, I mean it's like famous to like 50 people, <laughs> but it's still, it's, it's still famous to me, goddammit. What a beautiful face. Also, I'll see you later, Spriggy. The fun guy is entering the fold. Do you think there's any way I would, I would get fun guy to my party and not use him? Oh, we forgot to do status. Okay, so status. Uh, mushroom man. Age unknown. Height 6. Weight 66. Look at that. F oh my god, that is even more horrifying as a 3D model. I thought the art would be the most horrifying thing about it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, so that's fun guy. Zappa is an obstinate blacksmith. Age 52. Height 5'8. He's a little stout. Weight 181 pounds. Voice sucks. Right, Van. Pennywise artist. 14, 411, 88. Smallish build. Guess who the new party leader is? <laughs> Use the smith spirit to get the party axe. Oh, hi Ranger Rick. That's that's uh yeah, that's your one year vine anniversary. Good job. Thank you for subbing so that you can use dank meme emotes. At, at will, at any time. It's a simple move for a simple character. with people subbing if they want to, but they don't have to. I'm really... I'm not... I'm not arsed. It's... it's nice. It helps pay a bill or two. Or three. 
helping me pay back my student loans. That said, it's totally unnecessary. Uh, I'm doing well on YouTube in regards to being able to live my life. So I'm, I do not feel obligated to sub. I do not um, want you to waste your money on me. I'm, I'm doing okay. Buy some video games. One sub equals one Subway sandwich. Hey, have you checked out Subway lately? Ah, uh, you should try the Diarrhea Habanero Sub. It's delicious and only five dollars for a foot long right up your ass. Yeah, five dollar footlong is no longer a thing, by the way. Yeah, five five dollar footlongs are now six dollars, that's correct. Doesn't have the same ring to it, does it? Inflation destroyed that ad, ad campaign. Fuck, do these things have this much HP? <sighs> yeah, Jimmy John's was pretty good. I don't know if I mentioned this, we had... They were a little bit better. The prices were pretty good. Uh, they delivered. But we had three of them on Staten Island. Three of them open at the same time, and then like six months later, or about a year later, some between six months and a year, all three closed down. So now, sometimes they'll go to Subway. At, like, rarely, but if... Sometimes, sometimes, but I will get, um, local delis, the old Italian delis. I mean, talk to Mike about Subway, he'll tell you how much of a fucking, you know, waste it is to not go to a New York deli for your sandwich. When you get, like, massive sandwiches at a pretty good price. And also, I can't go back through this way. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wait, no, no, I can. That was weird. I, that, okay. Did I ever work at that deli? I worked at a deli. At one point. The Delhi story, there's not much to say about it. It just was a Delhi story. Some people wanted their ham cut 
in exactly quarter inch intervals. And some people wanted it fucking shredded so that it was just, like, thin... Like... Like, just like ham shavings. It was very strange. Um, and they would- and if like, if you didn't do it exactly right, they would examine it and tell you to do it over. Like, no. You can do better. I said exactly... 0.37 centimeters. You want me to do the deli voice? Okay. Hello, how are you doing? How come you not walk? You want to mark my deli? That's the deli voice. The ladder leading up to the prison is ahead, sir. Yeah, that was um for those that are new to the stream. There's a dude that used to work at a deli near me. That he would his joke was he thought he was the funniest dude in the world. It, it really, he was like, he was so pleased with himself every time he made this joke, which was literally every time I came in. He, uh, would always make the joke that... You want job at Dali? And if I said no... Come on, why not, why not work Dali? And that was, uh, that was it. That's, that's the whole, that's the whole thing. That's the whole story. He got fired for selling, uh, cigarettes to underage kids. So that, I guess that's the whole story now. Finally, Sir Norris. I've heard so much about Cock Norris. Sir Lynx, it has been a while, sir. As you can see, the manor is in shambles. There is still no sign of the general or the others. Norris will be played by Jared Leto in the movie adaptation. We're still investigating the area, but it appears that the Frozen Flame is not here. Sir, are you really Sir Lynx? You seem different than I last remember. You are correct. This man is not Lynx. Not Lynx. Excuse me, sir, but who might you be? I am Radius, a Dragoon. Although I have been retired for four years. So, you are Radius. One of the four former Divas. It's an honor to meet you, sir. I believe you, sir, but it, it is still hard to accept that this man is not Sir Lynx. He may look like Lynx, but his spirit is of another. That is quite strange, if I may say so. It is up to you what you would, which, what you want to believe. So what business did you have with Lynx? Have you uncovered anything about the disappearance of the General? You will be doing us a great fi favor by telling us what you know. Very well. I will tell you what I know. It was actually Sir Lynx who approached us about the existence of the Frozen Flame in El Nido. Being from the main continent, we had doubted its very existence. So, I was sent to El Nido as a spy. I had narrowed down the location to Viper Manor, but it appeared as though Vi General Viper and his men were in search of it as well. Eventually, I was called back to Poor, but it was then that I heard General Viper and his men had disappeared and that the manor had been destroyed as such. I only heard recently that there was good evidence that the General and his men headed to the Dead Sea. Oh, I thought it was the Poor Army that destroyed Viper Manor. I guess not. The Dead Sea is an ocean located to the east, surrounded by coral. It is used- it, it used to be called the Sea of Eden, but even then, not many dared enter it. We investigated the area, but to no avail. We could find no entrance. It is you, Sir Lynx, who wish to change this distorted world using the frozen flame. 
Or it is you, like Mr. Lynx. Ooh la la, such grand dreams, Mr. Lynx. Hold your tongue. Zut! So, the Dead Sea. That ocean was called the Sea of Eden until three years ago. This may just be the clue we were looking for. Once we uncover Lynx's plans, it should be easy enough to counter them. Are you planning to go to the Dead Sea? There is no way to get in there. We searched all over for an entrance, but to no avail. No one knows anything about it either. Yes, I doubt you will be able to get in. I'm sure the demi-humans of Marbule know something about this, but they detest humans. Especially those from the main continent. Perhaps they would give us a hint if we were to go. Then, may I join you, sir? I want to know. I want to know if the frozen flame really exists. But everything that has happened here... Well, what about you? Moi? Moi? But of course! I will follow this Monsieur Lynx. The other one is no longer Monsieur Lynx. There is a military boat docked in Termina. Let us use that. So Jared Leto is going to join our party. I'll use him for a little bit. There's even more side characters to recruit now. Holy shit. some elements yeah it's two yellows I, I don't think I'm gonna use two yellows for long just for now sake of variety sir Norris all is well sir commander Norris all is well sir so this was one of the big questions. We had talked about this a little bit, but how did the poor military rise to power so quickly? And they were such a peaceful... I mean, it seemed like they were peaceful. It was like a little peaceful town on the main continent, and now they're militaristic, imperialistic, and kind of dicks. And uh, that answer is, I think, hidden somewhere in Chrono Trigger with uh, Monsieur Dalton becoming an asshole. The clown skeleton is in another dimension. song. It's kind of cool how there's two boat themes. You know, like, but both dimensions have different themes for, for like, the, the traveling and the world map. It's just a, it's just great. I mean, Fucking Mitsuda probably gained himself like a hernia and a number of conniptions having to compose all this. I remember he got really stressed out for Chrono Trigger.
He had an ulcer, yeah, he had an ulcer during composing Chrono Trigger. But it's just amazing how much music is actually in this game. He's given us many gifts, Itsuda. Um, I've played this game... Oh, jeez. Making music is stressful business, I agree. Yeah, it is. It, today was it was a stressful music day for me. But, uh, it, you know, it's, it's mostly good. It's just sometimes it can be tough. I, on If it's your job, if you have to compose a soundtrack of like, you know, 40 songs, then yeah. yeah I can definitely see why it would be stressful for some people. I don't think I would ever really want music to be my job. You know what? I wouldn't. At all. Three CDs with 67 songs total. No shit, that's the Chrono Cross soundtrack? 67 songs? Why am I walking underwater? You may ask. Well, I may ask you to, uh, stop asking questions. <laughs> because no one knows. Now we can just breathe underwater, no problem. Like if, you know, having control over being able to do music, you know, when, when you want to make an album every few years, that's fine. You know, even if for a living, I think that's, that's fine, as long as you do well enough. But, uh, having, a, like, having deadlines to do a soundtrack for, like, a movie, or, um, you know, having to produce music with a deadline just sounds like a nightmare. Holy shit. What the fuck? I played this game, uh, to answer the previous question, I think to completion about three or four times. And I have, um, played, like, up until maybe like a few hours in, a few other times. I streamed it once, five years ago, and I, yeah, I haven't played it since then. Which, that's the longest amount of time I haven't played Chrono Cross. Because this, this is a game that just makes me feel good. Because it's, it's really... I got it a, a, maybe a few years after it came out. Oh, come on, more fish? I got Chrono Cross a few years after it came out, but there was definitely a level of nostalgia where I really, really enjoyed the game, I enjoyed everything about it. And uh, it was it was one of those games that came to me at the right time in my life. So, yeah, it seems like every few years I would start start it up and either finish it or get to, you know, a certain point in the game that I enjoyed, or maybe just give up on it by accident. Did you see- think about what just happened. If we could get a gif of that, that would be fantastic. I, as a mushroom man, it just brutally attacked a school of fish underwater with an axe. Ah. Uh. 
puffy. When you hear the, the word puffy, does anyone else think about that one scene in Rick and Morty? From the Anatomy Park episode? You know that one? Sorry, Mortys. You need the good jokes, <laughs> but you come here for the bad vine sauce. No getting out of this one. Just gonna use cats. Underwater dark cats. Just... just... cats, everyone. More fight. Just gonna do cats again. Sorry, I'm kind of like almost not paying attention to this. I I'm just pressing the button over and over again. Okay, the fish are dead. Alright. Shooting fish at the bottom of the ocean. There is water at the bottom of the ocean. R remove water. Remove ocean. Isn't Starkey down here, or do do I have to do something else to get Starkey? I, I forget. Starkey is the best character, by the way, aside from Fun Guy. Fun Guy is the best character, but Starkey is the second best character. It's 
Starkey is it not in this dimension? Oh. oh, right, it is later. I do remember that. Yeah, that's a little bit later on. Fuck! This underwater segment being particularly annoying for battles. Kind of dreaded coming down here, to be honest. Okay, I want, while I'm down here fighting fish, chat, in all seriousness, since we have a pretty chill chat tonight, tell the chat one secret. Go ahead, reveal one secret about yourself. I'll share a secret too. When I fart, I step into another room. It's not much of a secret, but all right. You know. The, the word hi is not a secret. Let's see here. There is no cow level. Um, a lot of people are mentioning that they're gay. Um. You need the bad pussy. Killed a man. A lot of people killed a man, apparently. Including Reds, one of my moderators. Goodbye, Reds. You're no longer a mod. Uh, might be a weeb. There you go. I fap left-handed. I'm right-handed. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, Chrono Cross is the superior game. That's a secret. Wow. The guy above me is the Zodiac Killer, wrote. SKI and the guy above was Axeman who wrote I have a breast expansion fetish <laughs> <laughs> oh, I needed that laugh um I unironically like memes me too I have no idea what I'm doing with my life do any of us <laughs> do any of us here's a secret Vinny sold out that's right. I sold out three nights at Carnegie Hall. I'm three ducks in a man costume. That's a good one. Um, Someone just wrote, I'm extremely racist. Okay, now it's getting real. I'm terrified to talk to strangers on the phone. Uh, all right, then. All right, thanks. Good secrets, everyone. We now return to your regularly scheduled uh, vine sauce. I think the phone thing is pretty common. I used to be a little bit shy on the phone. I didn't expect any visitors in this deserted village. So this place is deserted in this world. In the other world, it is not, in fact, deserted at all. The Great Explorer Toma. Hmm. Hey, what's up, guys? Did you come here just to see the Great Explorer? Ah, just kidding. What's new? What's new? I heard a rumor that you can hear a woman crying at night. People think it's a ghost. 
I've been here several days now, but I've yet to encounter this ghost. Also, I like how many people had, um, I, I like how many people just revealed their secrets more willingly than a fucking, like, Mitomo would have been able to get the secrets out of them. So I think this is a descendant of the Toma. Marbul Marbu used to belong to the Demi-Humans at one point. Demi-Humans were originally located up in the northern region, but after Poor's colonization, they were forced out of the mainland and ended up here. But their bad luck continued. Marbul, with its rich element resources, became the target of element hunters. With nowhere to go, most of the Demi-Humans left the village to work on the cruise ship SS Zelbus. They work as laborers and are treated like dirt. I feel really bad for them. Anyway, that's why you have this ghost town here. The rooms are still furnished, so feel free to spend the night if you're tired. Use the hut right by the entrance. The Dead Sea. Nobody would dare to approach that place. I don't know the details, but I heard that the place is cursed by the most hideous dragon. Everyone's afraid of defying this dragon god, but being the great explorer that I am, I plan to make the expedition there someday. Oh, so you want to know how to get inside the Dead Sea? Rumor has it there's only one way. Death's door. The entrance is out there. Like the truth. I'm Mulder. Somewhere. Unfortunately, even I don't know where this door is. Hmm, let's see, who might know? Oh yeah, why not ask the sage aboard the cruise ship SS Zelbus? Someone in chat just said, My mom makes me tape my nips because they get bloody when I wear a tight shirt. I, I think we're done with secrets. But thank you. Someone else wrote, I am pizza. So that's good. A lot of pizza secrets. No, Toma was not around in 1000 AD. Toma was from 600 AD. And Toma died. Later on in Chrono, uh, Chrono Trigger, you actually... You, um... Pour soda pop. You pour soda pop on Toma's grave. Also, look at this Wob Buffett. Just chasing a little, little butterfly fella. This is the land where the Sky Dragon resides, but after the Sky Dragon disappeared, a gigantic monster moved in. Took away the Star Fragment I worked so hard to get. Oh, if I wouldn't have had it, the monster would have taken my life instead. The El Nido Triangle is rumored to have been blasted by a falling star. Perhaps this could be the site of the ancient Dragonites. What is that? There's a gigantic monster here! The monster won't attack you if you don't have a star fragment. Star fragment! No, oh, it's here. <laughs> D 
Is this nor- I forget. Is this normal? Do I have to just kill Mega Starkey first, or, or how do I give Mega Starkey the Star Fragment? Yes, this is Pepe from the Game Boy Color darts game. That's correct. What? I have so many fucking free falls. It just auto, uh, like, set five free fall traps to links. I have to, I have to re, I have to redo that. I have to get rid of that. It's awful. Yeah, spore cloud. Man, mushrooms really look like dicks, don't they? It's the kind of quality observations and commentary you get here at Vine Sauce. If the frame rates look shitty, it's because they are. This game has low frame rates. The fuck? Why can't I? Sh oh, there. What? Uh, links. You know, I never really did dynamic cam, so let's give it a shot. Fucking die, Starkey, holy shit! Okay, we're finally getting close to defeating a giant little alien man. Uh, I need some HP, but I'm gonna go for the lumberjack instead. But Sarki was just here looking for Pikmin. He was not looking for any trouble.
Just better kill him. What? Um, okay. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Oh, okay. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. Maybe I have, but I just don't remember it. But yeah, I've, that was... That was a lot of damage. You can actually trap that spell off of him? Really? Oh, someone said they mentioned it in chat, but... It was probably something I missed. Uh, what else do I have? Lots of... Utility. I'm hoping... This will do some decent damage. Yay! The real body of the monster was this small. No, no, no. Whoopie pee pee, star fragment mine! Catch him with the X button. The noise it makes. Starkey sucked! Starkey got caught! You win! Who are you? Starkey come from far away stars, but Starkey's ship fall from sky. Star fragment is Starkey's ship fragment! The ship turned to fragments after crash! So that's why you were collecting fragments? If we're lucky, your ship might still be intact in the other world. Really? Whoopee! Start to come with you! Meme. Bye, Norris. Second, I wonder if the Argent gun is, is better for Starkey. I think Starkey's, uh, no, Starkey's over here, okay. Oh yeah, I want to reallocate links for a second.
free fall traps need to be replaced with something better. Uh, let me do a sort. Eagle Eye, uh, this is a level five. Good enough. All right, um, turn elements are useful. That actually is better than Starkey's gun. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Yeah, I guess they would be useful. Uh, hang on a sec. What do we have here? Turn black. But that's like all the way there. Let me see. I probably have a few. Oh no, I don't actually. Do a turn black over there. Anyway, now we have Starkey. He's a, an alien. And his ship crashed into the planet. And now all those serious moments where we as, you know, a stream, we as gamers need to understand the story will be translated to us through a little space alien and a mushroom man whose head looks like a cock. Good job. A stray gray, unknown M, height 211, 11 pounds, alien, ambidextrous. So, who else is available? <laughs> Richard Starkey, you mean Ringo? science has its limits. I do not have the power to save her. We're sorry. We can only allow family members to the patient in the back room. Please understand. is nature and the sea. The inherited lores of the dragon god, how inspiring. But such a world will someday be washed away by the waves of time to forever disappear. Other beats beholden the spectacle of the sea. Magnif uh, how magnificent you are, O Sea of El Nido. Someday, the sea will claim all Stocked well compared to the city, but blah blah blah. You're travelers, aren't you? heard about star fragments uh didn't we yeah we did this 
pretty shaped star stones. There's, they're crashed UFOs. We kind of have this thing where the, this game kind of makes me think a little bit about the futility of like thinking that everything is forever. The foreigner's not allowed to enter the tower. me to take the lecture again. One day the earth will just be a floating ball out in space. If I don't have diminish yet, get it here? Okay. We don't need any of this stuff. Um, uh, let me get diminish and then I'll go to Marbule again. Oh wait, no, 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 not Marbule. I have to go to the pirate ship. There, yeah, actually, when the sun goes red giant, that's going to be a whole different thing. Jen, I never said I was going to play Overwatch tomorrow. I uh, actually might not even be around tomorrow. I think some, some stuff is going to be happening. That said, I do plan on streaming it at some point. <laughs> Listen, please. I I don't think I can. I have um, I have stuff to do. I have um, I might not even be able to stream. In other words, 8 p.m. Eastern, I'll be streaming Overwatch. I'm lying. That's not true. That's not true. I am not playing Overwatch tomorrow. I'll give it a shot on stream at some point. What's that? Oh, you guys want some ju juicy shack meat tomorrow? Yeah, I kept trying to, like, you might have seen me on Battle.net, like, trying to get into the game, but I could not get into the game because the servers were down, or I was rejected for not owning the game. And then I found out that the closed beta ended and I didn't actually have a version of the game that was not closed beta oriented or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, I did try a few times to play it. Diminish, right? How am I going to celebrate May the 4th? Watching Red Letter Media's new Plinket review, of course. What's that? It's not going to happen? Right, never mind then. to sleep at Marbule for the next element. Okay. Go, yeah, diminish the effect. I don't even know what Mercy Healer means, but we'll, I'll, I'll find out soon. My favorite ice cream is... I like uh, cookie dough, but I also... Uh, 
I'm kind of like not picky about ice cream. Like vanilla, great. Chocolate, great. Even fucking strawberry. I don't have a necessarily a preference, but I do tend to prefer vanilla with chocolatey shit somewhere in there. Like, there's a place on Staten Island called Ralph's. Maybe it's a chain now. I don't know, but they have um gel jelly ring. Then they also have um, Graham Crunch. It's amazing. Graham Crunch is um. It's basically graham cracker flavored ice cream, and it's fucking insanely good. I have to actually sleep. Oh, right, I have to sleep in that thing. Sorry, uh, I shouldn't have done the ice cream thing. Uh, much apologies. Hear voices outside. Check it out. Toasty Senpai, do you have amazing things to tell me? What, what do you. Toasty Senpai says he's upset that Senpai hasn't noticed him in, in the chat. He told me to play Star Wars game on May the 4th. Technically, it's May the 4th right now. I I would want to play Rogue Squadron, but I'm probably not going to be streaming tomorrow. What are you doing up at this hour? <laughs> Happy Star Trek Day! I think it's Star Wars Day. A mermaid. Homecoming, maybe? Oh, you say she was crying? A oh, mermaid returns in the middle of the night, crying. Actually, it could possibly be that the mermaid who lost her... It could be that mermaid who lost her singing voice. Mermaids are known to have a beautiful voice and sing about love and happiness, unless they're a siren, in which case they, you know, sing you to shipwreck. But mermaids are forbidden to sing songs about holding grudges against humans. Who made these rules? If a mermaid breaks the taboo, she will lose her singing voice. Don't blame her, though. For all that's been happening in this day and age. You're headed to the Zelbus tomorrow, right? You should get some sleep. Oh, and don't forget to give your regards to Captain Fargo when you get there. He can be devious, so keep an eye on him. Uh, Dumblekirk is my favorite Star Trek uh, Wars captain. Cruise ship as is Zelbes Fargo. Excuse me, son of man. Will you be boarding? What, what are these umlauts? How are they fucking supposed to sound? We'll be boarding the Zelbes. Take me with you. Let us go. Fungi. Good good contribution, Fungi. W what's that? I forgot how much stuff there was to do before the Dead Sea. I thought we were going to be able to do the Dead Sea tonight. So, you may remember the Zelbes um, was actually the Invincible, I believe, in the other world. You may remember meeting Fargo. It's a pirate with some form of honor. They sailed the Seven Seas. They, you know, they were pirates and they were assholes. But they were good assholes. They were they were just pirates, and and Fargo was a reasonable, cool guy. 
and now they're a cruise ship. Ah, oh, what a life. I have absolutely nothing to do. Do you envy me? You're a loser. Ha <laughs> you're just jealous. I can't wait to see Nikki's concert. That ship you're looking at belongs to Nikki. He tours the world in that ship. Oh, Nikki, take me with you. She brings me a cocktail when I'm thirsty, gives me a massage when I'm tense. Now this is what I, uh, being on a cruise ship is all about. Nikki, that. That's all I hear on this ship. What's the big deal anyway? Look at the way he dresses and he wears makeup, too. A man has to be tough. Be a man, I say. Oh, Nikki. Just look at your poster. It makes my head spin. If I see you in person, I'll probably faint. If that should happen, please, Nikki, squeeze me in your arms. Ha. Huh, you're a strange threesome. I thought everyone- and I thought everyone was here to see Nikki. You don't look like typical Nikki fans. Are you fans? Yes. Figured you were. Yep, uh, me, a, a, a human cat, a mushroom human. Starting with mushroom, then human, and then a, a little space alien fella. That's two feet tall. I'm Mickey, the lead dancer for the Magical Dreamers. Nobody seems to understand the heart and soul of our performance. I want everyone to get goosebumps from the message we try to convey. We're not all about looks. We hope you understand that. Wish Nikki's concert would start soon. It took me six months to save up enough money for this event. I had to sacrifice my daily coffee breaks, but it'll be worth it when I see Nikki in person. The demi human says, I'm sorry, but I'm forbidden to from talking to, um... customers. <laughs> you gotta bet on that 1% chance. The lower the odds of winning, the greater the excitement when you win. That's what gambling's all about. Fuck. I... Goddamn gambling. Quite some time, Arenas. You've grown up. Fargo, you have not changed at all. You are still here, drowning in memories of the past. What do you know? I lost everything when I lost Zelbis. That east untrue, my sister left hope. A treasure that one may one day bring humans and demi-humans together. You mean Nikki, Ja, and his sister, Marcy. The child died with Selbus when Lucia... You do not know anything, do you? <laughs> or you refuse to know. You only remember the past, which is favorable for you. <laughs> Luca tried. To save my... Luca tried to save my sister Zelbus, but she was only able to save the baby, Marcy. Lucia felt responsible and has supported Marcy from a distance throughout her life. I don't know what tried to... I'm not, I don't know what my voice is here. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Look at you now. Where is the old you? who had the passion and desire to build a new world with my sister. I told you, the old me is dead. Ah, oh, what do you want? I don't need to be lectured by you. Understood. Let me get to the point. You have taken away the song of the demi-humans. In utter words, 
We would like you to free the sage. I see. But why? You know that song too, don't you? Do not feign ignorance, Fargo. You should know better. Only when the song is sung by one with special power can the effect be brought into full play. My sister Zelbus is dead, and you have taken away the sage. Marbule no longer has its true power without that song. Marbule is now a nesting ground for evil dream spirits. Evil dream spirits? No! Nope! Interesting. But so what? I don't want outsiders in Marbule. That suits me just fine. How much longer are you going to be st stubborn? The Marbule you once knew is no longer there. You will only find a nightmare. Open your eyes to reality. I'm not releasing the sage, no matter what you say. Fine. I will not beseech you. I will not give up on the restoration of Marbule. I, this accent is literally all over the fucking place. I will continue to strive to make my sister's dream come true. Hey, you're a new face. Relax and stay a while. The ship belongs to me, myself, and I. I want everyone to enjoy themselves, courtesy of me. Stay as long as you like. So Freddy Mercury Pirate is pretty much, you know, he's, he's, he's living regret. He's in the past, he's stuck in the past. But more than that, he kind of sold out. Yeah. Graphics. You know, he owns a cruise ship and he wants everyone to have a good time. So they give him lots of money. That's right, just like vine sauce. Gay old time. Everyone's having a gay old time on my ship, right? That'll be $5.99 a night. $599 US quid. Please enjoy the Sneff family show. What kind of show is this? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sneff Fantastic Magic Show. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to volunteer for this next trick? How about you, young lady? Who, me? Well, it does seem like fun, but you're not gonna slice me in two or stick knives into me, are you? Nothing to worry about, young lady. You're in good hands with Sneff. Now please, step up to the stage. Here goes nothing. Now, what is your name? Jill. Did you hear that voice in the background that said, CRAZY! Listen for the voices. Well, let's... Start off with something simple. Jill, you are going to walk on air. You're feeling lighter, Jill. Very light. One, two, three. And now for the main event. Jill, you will now become a chair. You will be able to withstand any weight. One. Two. Three. Crazy. 
See, no strings. She's even able to support a fatso like him. Okay, then, it's about time we brought Jill back. One, two, three! So, how was it, Jill? Um, it felt like I had no control over my body, but it didn't hurt one bit. It was very strange. Thank you very much for your assistance. You're a phony. You and I probably had this all planned out. You don't believe in magic? Looks like I have something to prove to you. Step up to the stage. Yeah, go ahead and do what you want. I know there's a trick. You're a real live wire. What's your name? Jack. Well then, Jack, seeing how restless and irritated you are, here's one of my favorite tricks. I will turn you into a cat. I call it Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. One, two, three. So what do you think? Don't be afraid. I'll change you back to normal. One. Do you believe me now, Jack? Not impressive. Not impressive. You know, I, I was- my Surge was turned into a human cat. That's impressive. Thank you very much for your assistance. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. That's about it for today. Until next time. Jack and Jill. Oh man, I was freaky. I still got goosebumps. You guys better watch out for that, man. How did he change that man into a cat? Unbelievable. Excuse me, but I, I need to get to work. Please let me through. We're looking for the Sage of Marbule. Do you know anything? Hmm, I don't believe he's here. Try elsewhere. Now, please, I have to get to work. Please don't make me work overtime today. I want to go home. Um, do you know what's happening in Marbule? It's too painful to say, huh? Why do you say that? What's going on? It's something the humans did, isn't it? I'm sorry, but I need to be alone. Hey, at least we get fed, you know. I don't think it's all that bad. Fargo, like... I have to mop the floors. Let me through. Alright, go. Don't slack off. Fargo is kind of like, in this dimension... He's... Keeping these demi-humans enslaved in a way so that they could work for him for free or for cheap or whatever look at Starkey's idol animation by the way that old man used to be the leader of Marbule now he's down in the dumps mopping the floors of this Elvis oh the door is through this door is the grand slam a world where the weak are victims of the strong power is justice well just what the captain preaches Anyway, I'll let you throw if you get the captain's permission. You're welcome, Bulbasaurus. Thank you for watching. We'd like to get through to the Grand Slam. Oh, the Grand Slam, eh? So you're out for blood. Tell me, where did you folks come from? Marbule. What? Marbule? What are you doing here, anyway? We're looking for the Sage of Marbule. Oh, well, well, I'm sorry, but there's no one that sort aboard the Zelbus. Plus, I don't want strangers ruining my fun on my ship. Sorry, I can't grant you access.
But well, that wouldn't be fun now, would it? The foundation of the Zelbus is entertainment. What do you say you try your luck? Try our luck? That's right, there's a casino down below. If you win, I'll give you access to the Grand Slam. But if you lose, well, how about you give me your boat docked by the entrance? What do you say? Let's do it. Good, that's the spirit. I'll meet you down at the casino. Don't chicken out now. I know there's a, there's a trick um, for the compass game by pausing. I just forget what direction you have to let it go on. No, not again! Give it up, old man, Sneff. You don't have what it takes. Just keep doing your shows, that's all. Oh, one of these days, I'm gonna slap your dirty face with, with a wad of cash and get the hell off of this ship. Look who's here. That old man has built up quite a debt from this casino, so now I own him. I suggest you don't let the same happen to you. Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? I need to have a private game with these folks. Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? I'll clear any debts you may have. Are you serious, Captain? Did I stutter? All right. Captain is... Good, good captain. Good ravioli. Better watch it. Take it easy on him, captain. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I'll be done soon. Okay, then, let's begin. The usual captain. Yes, yeah, sudden death. The rules are simple. Press the X button after the dealer spins the compass. We'll alternate turns. The pointer will stop on northeast, south, or west. Should the pointer stop on south, where it stands now, you lose. Simple game, isn't it? Just don't make the pointer stop on south. It's a game of luck rather than skill. Okay, then. I'll go first. Hi, Pelicuni. You're up. Luck of the devil. Here we go. <laughs> you got a ways to go before you can beat me. Well then, looks like me, you owe me your boat. Don't hold a grudge, I won that game fair and square. Guess that means you'll have to swim back. <laughs> oh yeah, it is your, it, it is your birthday, I forgot. Happy birthday, Pelicuni. Totally forgot about that, even though you had told me. wasted 100 G for no reason. Anyway, yeah, there's, um, there's, well, you'll find out soon. You folks want to challenge me again? You know you can't beat me. Forget it then. That's smart. I'm sorry, I can't do Overwatch tomorrow, but we, we can play it together at some point. <laughs> I got roped into playing Overwatch. I will do it, though. It's gonna happen. Mark my word. 
What what is the word you may ask? Bum. It's the word of the night. Salt and pepper. I am Lanky Lank. And I'm stout. Shake it and enjoy our show. <laughs> they just like beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> Is that their show? Actually, no, it's just one beating the shit out of the other one. Come and watch the show, you know them well, etc, etc. Coconut smells. Notice the sign says Vegas. I think I have to go again. I I'm not sure how to get to the next part of the story, but you- we do find out he's cheating. Spoiler. He! We lost again. The house always wins. You probably should probably cool off a little. Why don't you hit the bar and take a little rest? Come challenge me again later. I'll be waiting. He loves it. He loves it. Fargo loves winning. Vegas. Sorry about that, didn't realize I have a, had a customer. Please excuse me, <laughs> so what can I do for you? Hey, don't go up there! Notice this is right below. Right above this inn is... The casino where we played Fargo! Something's fussy. If only we could move around freely like that cat. It's a very literal literal, um, thing to say. Uh, vine sauce is 6 on May- May 11th. But we- we usually celebrate it on my birthday, which is May 12th. But I did start the stream May 11th. But yeah, we're- we're hitting our 6 year anniversary in, um, just over a week. No, in- in a week. So... Yeah. Was May 12th... What day does that fall on? I don't, I don't really think too much about my birthday. Uh, it falls on a th Thursday. I don't want to do a show that day. Hmm. That would be cool. That would be something I would enjoy. Hmm. 
What was the first game you streamed? Chrono Trigger. Where the fuck is- is the ma magician guy? Oh. I think he- there he is. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Snuff Fantastic Magic Show. How about we start off with my cat on a hot tin roof today? Do I have a volunteer from the audience? You folks must be new around here. Would you like to volunteer? Excellent, please step up to the stage. Are you ready? One, two, three! Crazy! Where do you think you're going? What is wrongly wrong with this cat? What's shaking with this cat? Something happened on stage? I love cats. Here, kitty kitty. He, he turned a cat into a cat. yells at me when I try to get up there, meow. Sometimes my master doesn't come down for a long time, meow. Wonder what's going up there. Gone and up, on, going on up there, meow. <laughs> Pops at it again. No! Why me? This happens to me every time I start winning big. Too bad, old man. You have to learn when to quit. Enough! I wanted to buy some cat food for those folks! Cat food? For whom? Enough! None of your beeswax! Oh, ouch! My back! <sighs> Don't scare me like that. Sneff is owned because Fargo's been cheating with a giant, giant magnet. Hello, Douglas! What is it about Mr. Dink? Like, whenever I hear Mr. Dink, his name or the voice, I just think of there's something really perverted that happens in my mind for some reason. I can't explain why. Mr. Dink is a nice, innocent man. Did the internet ruin him for me? Or was there some kind of like sex meme? I don't- I don't remember. Why- why do I instantly think of horrible shit when I think Mr. Dink? What- what's- what's wrong with me? Happy cook who feeds the people gook. Thank God it's pronounced gook. And that's it's supposed to rhyme with cook and book. It's definitely not a different pronunciation of that word. Definitely not. Oh, you're a new feline face, meow. You've got Manners to be paying your respects to me, meow. I like you, meow. Stay as long as you'd like, meow. This ship belongs to me, 
Meow Self and I, Meow. Let me give you a welcome present, Meow. Oh shit, Monster Mouth Frame. Use it at your leisure, Meow. Just take everything in stride, Meow. Tomorrow's another day, Meow. I just bullied that cat. There's a silly fruitcake who takes photographs of babies for a living. Oh. <laughs> the fuck is this? What did you just link in the chat? A very special episode of Doug? What the fuck? That's supposed to be Mr. Dink? I'll try this! <laughs> this is my cockamatic cock 5,000. I'll put it right on your dick. But don't worry, Douglas, I've got it. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Thank you for the video. <laughs> It, it was wonderful. We're gonna stop playing it now before it gets extremely racist. Oh, you had me worried sick. I had to lie down a bit because I strained my back running. Finally! I'm able to stand up, and that's 100% better yet, but I think I can change you back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sneff's fantastic magic show. Just get on with it. I have to start off like that to concentrate. Anyway, here we go. One, two, three. Two. That's a load off my shoulders. I better stop using that magic. Listen, I'm very sorry you had to put up with being a cat. If there's anything I can do to make it up to you, I would like to help, but due to unforeseen circumstances, I'm forced to stay on this ship. Please do come by again if you're ever around. It's the least I can do is offer you a cup of tea. Okay, that one got a little messy. That was probably fucking gross, and I'm sorry you had to be subjected to that. I'm not that sorry about it, though. Start off with 100 points. Let's continue. I'm gonna just do this first. So there is a trick to this that you can win every time. And it's, yeah, just after it hits south, like just there. If you hold down the button and then unpause, you'll always win. You know, it's it's kind of funny to me that you start off in this uh, situation, this unwinnable situation, and then unwinnable situation turns into like you cheating. Well, I mean, you know, it's not everyone's gonna cheat when they do this, but I will because I know how to do it. Think you've had enough guy, you'll put this casino out of business. Rainbow Shell. 
What other prizes are there? Because this could take a few minutes. Also, as soon as I beat the captain, I'm gonna uh, check the art and go to bed. So, just wanted to give you a heads up on how long the stream was gonna last. Rank three is free fall. Do I need another free fall? You know what? Yeah, maybe I do. Rank one again is Denadurite from now on. So I guess it wouldn't hurt to get at least one more of those, maybe two, just for the, the sake of being able to get some good weapons. You sure there was nothing else, like the rank twos and threes? I mean, three is free fall, you said? One more time. Oh, you were you were japing. Bone, iron, mithril, and denadorite. Oh, okay, so then just get denadorite then. Okay. God damn it, Nairobi. How many years have I known you, Nairobi? How many years? And you still jape? Play money macking game. Actually, Nairobi, how long have you been? Oh, it's been one year. <laughs> okay. I wonder how many people left over the years. Like, sometimes I wonder about that. People that just watched for a while and then just were like, nah, you know what? I actually don't like this anymore. Which is fine, honestly. I get bored of shit all the time. I would get bored of me if I didn't have to live in my own skin. And it's like, then there's the other end of that, where like people get banned in chat for being shitheads, and then they stop watching. Or, or take that even further to the next level. To the next level, revenge. <laughs> I got banned for being a cunt in Vinny's chat. We're done. That's it. I don't like this guy anymore, even though he probably isn't the one that banned me. I think about these things maybe once every two years. And then I think to myself, Morty! I can't allow you to go to the Grand Slam. But why? I really need to talk to the sage about teaching me the song, or else the beautiful island Marbule will be gone forever. I can't just stand here and do nothing. You don't understand. True beauty is found within a dying entity. Therefore, I will watch over Marbule when the time com comes. Furthermore, you and I have a contract. For the time being, you're in my possession. What am I supposed to do should anything happen to you? 
It would be a great financial loss for me. Financial loss. So you're saying I'm nothing but a mere object. That's what you think. So be it. dressing table that looks exactly like my mother's. There's even that scratch I made when I was a child. Wait a minute. Could it be that you are my father? The gentle and caring father I used to know? You're, you're my father, aren't you? Why are you participating in such dubious acts? I'm no longer the father you once knew. I lost everything when your mother, Zelbus, passed away, including myself. Laugh at me all you want. Pity me if you wish. But remember this, Nikki. Man is not as strong as you think. Father, I... Father, I, I might be gay. Are you okay with that? You folks want to challenge me again? You know you can't beat me. Uh, you folks never learn. Fargo, let's see how you handle this now. <laughs> what? Impossible! Interesting little item you got there. So I guess you found me out. I lose. As promised, I'll give you access to the Grand Slam. But of course, you'll get your boat back as well. How did you get hold of that handle? My favorite combat character is Glenn, I think, because I like sword swords, and Glenn can get two swords. The Grand Slam. But we're not going to do that yet. Um, I'm going to save this here. Also, next time, I know there's a thing I could potentially miss that my buddy Tyler missed when he played through this not too long ago. Um, in regards to saving Marbule. I just want to make sure I don't miss that. Oh man, I just got memories of my stream of this from five years ago. Maybe a little over five years ago. I don't know. I don't remember now. But... My memories of saving the game... at night, you know, finishing my stream... and hearing this music... and just letting it run for a little bit. I guess with the six-year anniversary coming up... It would only make sense to uh, revisit some of these these memories and thoughts on the anniversary. I'll share some of my um, my favorite streams. Like I'll think about some stuff that we've done, and you know, some streams I've enjoyed, and uh, maybe we'll do some. Re we'll revisit some classic Vine Sauce related moments, or 
you know, I'll think about it. I'm not going to make a huge deal out of it. The anniversary, which is um, either going to be on May 11th or May 12th. May 11th is the technical anniversary. May 12th is my birthday. I may combine the two into just one. And uh, I'm going to try to get a rock show for next week. And if I can't do that, then I'll just, you know, I'll stream instead. But uh, if I do get a show, I'll stream the day before or the day after. It won't be a big deal. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get a few things that might be, uh, might be interesting. And stuff that you might remember. So, okay. Yeah, it's really good music. Just save this. I mean, hey, Steel Tarkus, you said you've been here since almost the beginning. If you have any good, like, memories from four years ago, five years ago, you know, let me know. I'm going to make a, a thread of, like, some, you know, like a an anniversary thread on the forum. And uh, I will post, I'll post it soon. And then I'll maybe read some of your memories, too. So if you have any specific thoughts or memories of, of the years that we've been here, then sure, yeah. I mean, that, that'll that be the place to do it. Like, here's one. This is fucking ancient. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's something that became, a, like, a mascot-type image for this, for this stream. See how nice and purple- Okay, that, we can't play that. How did you decide what your first stream is? Um, well, I'll tell you next week, but I'll just tell you- I'll give you any, a little little hint. I can't talk. It's too late. But I'll try my best. Um, here's what happened. I had a dream one night that I was streaming Chrono Trigger. And then the next day I did. And that was it. I, I had thought about streaming for a while. I thought about what would it be like to do this? Could I do it? And then I had a, like a dream that I did it. And then when I woke up, I did it. I just made a channel, learned how to do it, um, used my shitty microphone, and uh, eventually got a headset. I didn't even... This is how stupid I was. Some of my first streams were a desktop microphone, right? USB, without headphones on. It was just me playing the thing through the speakers, and people would hear echoes of, you know, the of the audio coming through my speakers, and the audio quality was probably terrible. I probably put on a voice that wasn't even really me, and I was probably barely speaking. So, I mean, yeah, there's definitely been improvement over the years, but, I mean, that comes with time. You know, you no, no one starts good at um, broadcasting or anything like that. I mean, you have to suck before you can learn how to do something. Um, some people have a more of natural inclination to things than others. And uh, for me, it took work. But that was, yeah, that's that's one stream memory. Um, anyway, <clears throat> art time from Brotein Shake. Here's me. And this looks like it was done with pastels. Oil pastels, actually. Yeah, that's cool. From Dog Shaped Robot Buddy. Here's, <laughs> here's that Twilight Princess Vine Sauce Wolf. Now as Fox... I swear to God, man, this is so weird. From the an Annihilator or Annihilator, um, what will you do now? Kind of thinking about what would Link just do? Back to being a goat herder. I started this the time the credits started to roll, finished it shortly after Vinny ended the stream. After you went on a spiel about, hope I'm not stopping you from being productive. I retroactively took your advice. Thank you for streaming. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I kind of wondered. I thought that was an interesting thought of like, what the fuck is Link going to do? Like, he just did the most important thing that he'll probably ever do, that he will ever do in his entire life, which is go on adventures and save Hyrule and learn how to use all this cool shit. And then it just ends. And like, is he a, an adrenaline junkie now? You know, is he going to be able to handle the rest of his life? He's only like, what, 18, 19 in Twilight Princess, 17. Um, is is he going to be well equipped to handle 
a, a boring life of maybe possibly just being a goat herder. I mean, it, it would sound great. Like all he has to do now is just relax, but it's, uh, that's why I like Majora. And that's, that's like why I find Ocarina of Time a little more interesting, which is the, the idea of like Link having experienced a lifetime of, or not a lifetime, but it, like he aged and he did all that stuff. And then he went back to being a kid. He didn't really even grow up. And then he goes into the forest and then potentially becomes a Stalfos. I mean, maybe. Or maybe that is confirmed. Or maybe he ended up living a whole life. I don't know what the exact time frame or the exact, rather, chain of events is for that Link uh, from Majora <clears throat> voice. But anyway, yeah, I just thought it was interesting is he just going to wander aimlessly for his whole life from punk phantom i guess this is the last we're going to see of mellow the next day in spanish class mellow mellow means bad really there's no escape from elusive illustrator here's the first of the new wave fun guy art that's cool <laughs> that's really good art from rasferbell here's um Link and Minda. From the XCIA, here's Red Vox art for the song In a Dream. And um, it's it's flipped. There we go. Cool, thank you for the music art. From Shark Bits, here's another of me with a guitar. That's really cool, thank you. From Crimson wrench scoot the burbs but why is it apple dave <laughs> but why is it apple dave from bizu do zippity you want a good moral but you need a bad harl dear god this meme this this mem i think this is from, oh, Rufia. This, this is from one of my streams. The one with the, the shitty Game Boy Pokemon game, whatever the fuck that was. And yeah, it's Mumleaf. So, awesome. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to get going. Have a good night, everyone. And uh, please watch my friends the other streamers if uh if you're so inclined currently no one's streaming so that that kind of doesn't apply Ching. so never mind whoa boy it's double me oh jeff is streaming i'll just i'll host him all right good night everyone and i'll see you soon maybe not tomorrow likely not tomorrow but um maybe thursday we'll see good night and sweet dreams